So hey guys, today we're going to take a look at one of the first games I bought for Ouya. I actually bought it with my promotional credit. Um, when you bought the console, they gave you like $20 in store credit or $10. I'm not quite sure, I don't remember, but this game was like a buck ninety-nine, and I really loved the aesthetic of it because I was a huge fan of Res and a huge fan of Mirror's Edge, and you'll see why those two games are relevant in just one second here. Uh, I am terrible at this game, but I will do my best. It's weird to play stuff I actually know how to do. So, yeah, so you play this person who has to run along these tracks, and your goal is to speed up as much as you can. There we go. So, to go faster, you hold the jump button. And to jump, you let go of the jump button. Not bad, right? Okay. So, this game is kind of simple, but I got really into it for a while. Because each one of these playfields has multiple levels that you can run on, and you can use the jump button to go down or up. So, like, I can, um, if you hold jump, like, I just messed up right there. But if you hold jump, you will, uh, magnetize to the level below you, or fall faster, I guess, would be the correct way to put it. Uh-oh, uh -oh. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Oh, nope, alright, here we go, sweet. Try to get out of the bottom here. for sure. We'll accelerate a little faster so we don't have so much sitting around waiting to do nothing. And if, I believe that at least on this course, um, we have to kind of stick to the top. But yeah, for the different courses, they require different strategies. Some of them, you have a much easier time if you just hang out on the bottom and don't do anything in the air. Or, I mean, you stay low to the ground anyway, because you have less obstacles. But, I think on this one, you just try to go as fast as you can. Oh, no. What's going on? Alright, here we go. Man, I sure hope the camera's capturing this. This game is crazy fast. Oh, I fell down. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, we're back where we were before. And we're not quite as far, so we're gonna have some trouble. I fell off in the same place. Alright, give it another go. And yeah, there are no turns in this game. Um, you can play this up to four players, if I remember correctly. So you can have four different people, and they each get their own camera, and they run. And you show up as, like, Tron beams of light on each other's screen um, as you outpace or change the tracks in front of each other. A little bit like vertical slot car racing. It's pretty darn fun. And you really get going fast. You get some crazy jump momentum. There we go. That's what I wanted. Yeah. We might actually make it this time. Oh man, we're going fast. This game has a pretty tremendous sense of speed. It's not something that you'll keep you busy for hours, but it's not too bad. I really had a lot of fun with it. It was like two bucks, and um, it has like six or eight courses you can play. I had some fun playing it with my friend right after I got the console. Because I'm probably the only person who saw the Ouya and immediately bought four controllers because they were like, hey, you know what you should do? Play this console with four people. <laughs> Alright, we'll take the second course on here. They do get more difficult and more visually interesting, um, at least to a certain point. Gotta avoid this dragon spiral thing. Oh man, I hate being on the lower floors. Here we go, jump. Here we go. like being down here. Even if it is easier. <laughs> uh. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. I've always been a huge sucker for vectorized graphics. I don't really know why. Like, I know um, they haven't needed to do vector processing for games in a really long time, but I really, really dig the, the wireframe image. Man, who else is excited for Res Unlimited, or is it Res Infinite? I don't remember, but they're making, like, a different thing. Kind of a new remake. Oh man, this part reminds me of that movie Explorers, when they're flying through the, the design for the circuit board. Yeah, with all those things clamped on, that's totally what that reminds me of. Oh, here we go. Oh, 
That was not what I meant to do. Lost a little bit of acceleration there, but we're, we're doing okay. Well, there goes everything. I'm gonna die. No. Let's see what else this game's got to offer. There's endless mode where it just kind of randomizes your... Yeah, let's play on the hardest difficulty. What? Wait. Yeah, Furioso. Um, but yeah, this game, there's those five courses, I think, and then randomize, just like combine segments from the different, the different runs. So it doesn't really like randomize whole courses that I remember, it sort of randomizes segments from them. And I'm super good at it, as you can tell. Here we go. I really like that background. Okay. Oh, that's why I fell, is because I jumped after. <sighs> I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> Alright, one more time. One more time. This time for YouTube. Here we go. I'm pretty sure this game came out for uh, phones as well. I'm not 100% sure. Um, yeah, actually, I'm pretty sure it did. Uh, the one-button controls really kind of give it away. But I don't know if you can play four-player on a phone. Um, I should really look up what happened in this game. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's definitely worth checking out if you have hardware that can play it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's pretty neat, and I hope you do, too. Try again here. What was that? Was I, like, tilted off to the side? That was super weird. Okay, I'm, like, glitching it out now. <laughs> it keeps rebuilding the platform under me. All right, one more try. One more try. I keep saying that, but this, this is that kind of game, absolutely. Um, yep, missed the first jump. We're done. We're done. I'll see you guys next time.